clarify some things. Um, I'm not a very big book buyer. I would be if I had a bookstore close to me, but unfortunately I don't. And it's not because I live in some small rural, con not country, county. I live in a city and it's just the bookstore is just not around my area for some reason. I know, it's very sad. They got rid of the bookstores that used to be around me. And so when I have to go to the bookstore, I have to go quite a ways, like maybe 20, 25 minutes, which may not be a lot to you, but I read fast, so I don't want to go every week and get three more books, and, and that adds up and adds up and adds up, and when you have your own home and all that stuff, you just want to kind of focus on that. And so a lot of the books I'll be showing you are from my local library, which is not great in itself either because it doesn't hold a lot, it doesn't have a lot of YA novels, but when it does have it, I scoop it up pretty fast. And so, with the clarification coming in, you'll probably see me in different outfits because when I get the books from the library, I do want to show you the covers because I don't want to be like, hey, you know, here's the book that I got from the library. And this is obviously some computer part of my husband's. But, you know, a cover is very important part of the book. So, you'll see me in different outfits throughout this video probably of just book hauls and stuff. And they're all from the library more than likely. I will have some on my candle application on my tablet that I'll show you and some I'll actually buy but this is just gonna be just bear with it bear with how it changes bear with the different hairstyles you know it's all like the same month all the same books just different various times that I got them that is so gone by it. Michael Grant and I have heard various things about this book and I think it's a three I think it's a trilogy I'm not sure but um <clears throat> I'll just read you the book jacket of this one Sorry if I go super fast, just bear with me. In the blink of an eye, everyone disappears, gone. Except for the young. Teens, middle schoolers, toddlers, but not a single adult. No teachers, no cops, no doctors, no parents. And just suddenly there are no phones, no internet, no television. No way to figure out what's happened, and no way to get help. Hunger threatens. Bullies rule. A sinister creature lurks. Animals are, are mutating, and the teens themselves are changing, developing new talents, unimaginable, dangerous, deadly powers that grow stronger by the day. It's a terrifying new world. Sides are being chosen. A fight is shaping up. Townies against rich kids. Bullies against the weak. Powerful against powerless. And this time is... Ugh. And time is running out. On your birthday, you will disappear, just like everyone else. So that... <laughs> wow. Like, you know, like, what a book. Imagine you just... All the adults disappear, and then you turn and figure out. When you turn an adult, you're, there's going to be no more of you. Like I wonder I'm very what this book excited is about this. Hold. I've heard really good reviews about it. So hopefully I can finish this fast because I know the second one's in the library, so I've got to rush, rush, rush to get to it. And then the second book I got is called North of Beautiful by Justina Chen Headley. And I've had my eye on this book for quite some time. I just haven't gotten it. And then as soon as I saw it in the library, I was like, oh, got to get this one. And so once again, I'll read for you the book jacket. And I just love the cover on this. It's got like a compass thing around her face. And she just looks so pretty. I love blonde hair. <laughs> and so, okay, so I'll read you the book jacket. It's not hard to notice Terry, Tara, Tara Cooper. She's tall, blonde, and has an inevitable body. But with one turn of her cheek, all people notice her is her unmistakable flawed face. Tara secretly plans to leave her small, stifling town in the Northwest and escape to an East Coast college, but gets pushed off course by her controlling father. When an unexpected collision puts Tara directly in Jacob's path, the handsome but quirky goth boy immediately challenges her assumptions about herself and her life, and she is forced to in yet another direction. With her carefully laid plans disrupted, will Tara be able to find her truth path? So this seems like a, like, you know, a cute, quirky one. Maybe it's, you know, obviously some things that she's hiding and things she's not proud of, you know much like every teenage girl so I'm excited to read these books and if I like one of them very very much I will do a single book review on it before I take it hey back guys, to the library. this is my second part to my book haul. You probably saw me in a previous outfit a couple of weeks ago so this is the second part of it and um, I've got a quite big haul this time because I actually met with a friend for lunch today and she it was right near Barnes & Noble which was lucky and so I totally stocked up so I think I have a Six books to show you, which is a lot for me, because I never usually buy more than two books when I go to Barnes & Noble, because I don't like to spend tons of money. But I'm just going to go jump right into it. I'll just read the back of the books and all that stuff. All right. So the first one I have is Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. The cover looks like this. It looks very, um, looks very cool. I heard of it from 
Artsy Girl 12, I want to say. Fashion, Art, and Music, I think that's her channel. I love her channel anyway. But she definitely recommended this, so I picked it up. And I will read the back of it for you. Her has been strange for as long as she can remember, traveling from town to town with her father to hunt things that go bump in the night. It's a weird life, but a good one until it all explodes. An icy, broken-down Dakota town when a hungry zombie burst through her kitchen door. Alone, terrified, and trapped, Drew's going to need every inch of her wit and training to stay alive. The monsters have decided to hunt back, and this time Drew's on their menu. Chances are, are chances of survival slim to none. If she can't last till sunup, it's game over. So this definitely looks like a like a zombie book. I've never really read a zombie book before. So this should be interesting. So this is what the cover looks like. I think it's a really cool cover. I like the metallic of it, and the girl looks really like like she's gonna kick some butt. So that was my first one. And the next one, I've been this has been on my to read list for a long time because I know Farah from I Eat Words loves it. I know everybody that I follow loves this book and I hope I will love it too. I'm sure I will because I'm a romantic and of course I'm talking about Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and hopefully it will be good. They always say the cover's misleading because the cover I'm kind of like well it looks really girly but and the paper on this is just really different. I don't know if you can see it just doesn't look like normal paper. It feels thicker and the book end like I've never seen a paperback that has that in it. It looks interesting. There's really no... Okay, here we go. I'll read you the book jacket. Anna is happy in Atlanta. She has a loyal best friend and a crush on her co-worker at the movie theater, who is just starting to return her affection. So she's not too pleased when her father decides to send her to a boarding school in Paris for her senior year. But despite not speaking a word of French, Anna meets some cool new friends, including the handsome... It... I don't know his first name. I really can't pronounce it, so I'm just going to say St. Clair. That's his name until she meets St. Clair, who quickly becomes her best friend. Unfortunately, he's taken, and Anna might be too. Will a year romantic, will a year romantic near Mrs. end with a French kiss she's been waiting for? This looks super cute, and I love super cute reads, because I also love dark reads. I like to mix them up in between, so hopefully this will be my cute read in between. And I also got Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. Kirsten White, and I love this cover. I think it's really cool. Blonde hair. I love blonde hair. And once again, this is recommended. I heard this was great. So, Evie has always thought of herself as a normal teenager, even though she's worked for the International Paranormal Containment Agency. She's falling for a shapeshifter, and she's the only one who could see through glamours. But now Evie dreams are filled with haunting voices and cryptid messages, and she's realizing that she may be at the center of a dark fairy prophecy promising destruction to all paranormal creatures. So much for normal. So this is interesting. You know, usually when you read a book about somebody learning about all like werewolves and vampires, they're like, what? That's happening? That's not normal. This book's actually saying this is normal for her. She's used to it. This is the life she's always known. So, and it's weird because things don't go normal in her unusual world. So this should be interesting because, you know, all this kind of stuff I mentioned in the book are not normal, but in this book, they're considered normal. The next book I got is another light read, and again, Farah from I Eat Words. I love watching her channel. I always, I always try to read every book she recommends. And this is called The Summer of Skinny Dipping by Amanda Howes. First of all, I love the cover. I'm a photographer, and this would be totally a photo I would take. I love going to the beach with different couples because I'm mainly a wedding photographer. And so I do engagements, uh, and this will be such a cute photo. I love it so much. Anal at the back. It's really good photography. I really like this title. If I ever do like a favorite top 10 favorite covers, like um, Artsy Girl 12 did, this will probably be one of them just because of the photography in it. You know, most books just have weird photo, way Photoshop pictures, but this looks like a genuine photograph. So, anyway, I'll stop gushing about the photography of the book and read you the back. Sometimes I still wake up shivering in the early hours in the morning, drowning in dreams of being out there in that ocean that summer, of looking at the moon and feeling as invisible and as fresh as fish. But I'm jumping ahead to tell the story I have to go back to the very beginning, to a place called Indigo Beach, to a boy of pale skin that glowed against the dark waves, to the start of something neither of us could have predicted, and to which, and which would mark us forever, making everything that came after and before seem like it belonged to another life. My name is Mia Gordon. I was 16 years old, and I remember everything. That part right there, I'm just like, did something happen bad <laughs> or something? I was thinking for a light reading, and then I remember everything. It totally sounds to start like, like you know, like murder or something. I don't know, but I'm interested in figuring it out. 
This next book I totally picked up at Walmart. <laughs> I, I do look at Walmart every time I go grocery shopping. And I noticed the author of this, this is the author of the Immortal series, Allison Noel. And it was a cheap book. It was eight dollars and it has two books in it. And I'm always about cheap books. If it's under ten bucks, I'm probably gonna buy it because it's a cheap book. And this one is called Forever Summer. And it actually has two books in it, which are Laguna Cove and Cruel Summer. Now I know a lot of girls out there probably watch Laguna Beach, so I was like, Laguna, I'm interested, definitely. So I picked it up. I like the photograph in this one too. Surprise! I love cutesy photographs. Um, and I'll read you the back to the cover. Summer, a break from the burdens of school, deep tans, deeper thoughts, far away from the everyday, closer to making dreams come true, what does summer mean to you? For the two teenage girls in these two unforgettable novels, Summer means being torn away from the familiar and finding new friends. A place in the world, a new sense of self, and maybe even new love along the way. So this is really cute. We were known for Alice and Noelle to create that, that dark the Evermore series, or the Immortal series, and Evermore. I'm not used to her writing such light fluff, so hopefully this will be really cute. I'm trying to, if you can't notice, I'm trying to stock up on Summer Reads because it's August and fall's going to be coming in, and I'm not going to want to read about the beach in the fall. I, I might. I don't know. Two I'm just books trying to I've actually it had for a while. I bought them on Amazon a long time ago. I just haven't gotten around reading to them. But the first one is Enclave by Anne Ag Agro. Sorry, I'm awful at pronouncing names. Here, I'll put it really close so you can see it. And this is a very spooky cover. Even the back, it's got like some sort of weird hand coming out of a... I don't know. I got this right after I read The Hunger Games because I was all, and it says, for fans of The Hunger Games, yeah. <laughs> I am all I was all about dystopian when I was done with Hunger Games, like, I can't get enough. And so, and this is a very, very light read, if you can see, very small. I think I've already started reading it, yeah, I'm on page six. What would you do, page six? In Deuce's world, an enclave deep underground, people earn the right to a name only if they survive their first 15 years. By that point, each unnamed brat has trained to join one of the three groups, breeders, builders, or hunters. And definitely by the numbers of scars they bear on their arms. Deuce has wanted to be a huntress for as long as she can remember. As a huntress, her purpose is clear, to brave the dangerous tunnels outside the enclave and bring back meat to feed the group while invading the ferocious monsters known as freaks. She's worked toward this goal her whole life and nothing's going to stop her, not even a brooding hunter named Fade. When the mysterious boy becomes her partner, Deuce's troubles are just beginning. Fade doesn't like following orders. Deuce has never known a boy like him before. Someone has always likely... I'm sorry... Someone as likely to touch her gently as Zeus is nice with feral grace. As Zeus per perception shifts, so is the balance in the battle for survival. The mindless freaks, once now considered a threat due to their sheer numbers, now show signs of cunning and even strategy. But the elders refuse to heed any warnings. No matter how hard she tries, Zeus cannot stem the dark tide that carries her far from the only world she's ever known. So this seems like a really scary book, actually. You know, it, you're determined by the number of scars on your arms if you're going to be what you are, a breeder. What is it? Breeder, builders, or hunters. And I think she starts off as a hunter because I think she's got some wicked scars on her. I don't know, but hopefully I can read this super fast and let you guys know. I haven't heard much reviews about it, actually. And I've scoured, I, since I just got started in the book team, I scoured everybody's book hauls and all that stuff. And I haven't seen this one yet, so I don't know why I picked this up a long time ago, but we're just going to go with it. And my last one I'm excited to read. I've had it for a while and I know everybody's hyped and hyped about it and so I'm excited to read it. It's called The Maze Runner by Jane Stashner. I'm sure everyone who's watching this video, if you're watching it, have heard of this book and loved it. Hopefully I will love it just and as much. And that was my book haul for now. It's probably going to be a long time for my another book haul because like I said, I have all these books I just bought and I actually have lots on hold in the library that I've been wanting to read. So it's going to be a very booktastic month for me. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, leave them below. And go check me out on Goodreads because I love using Goodreads now. So, check me out. Thanks and for watching. Bye.